I have a big update today about how I'm learning organic chemistry with AI because if you've been tuning in, I got a 34% on the first MIT organic chemistry exam after studying for six days. I'm doing one hour per day trying to finish all of organic chemistry one in just 21 days. And honestly, there were some major gaps in my knowledge. I could tell all the visual stuff was going way over my head. And as soon as I saw the exam and they started asking me to draw diagrams and identify things I'd never seen, I was just using my test taking skills. It's pure test taking skills and reasoning that I was able to even get a 34%. That felt like a stretch. So I've changed my strategy up. A lot of the commenters will probably feel vindicated <laughs> after this, but I'm using a textbook. I'm using organic chemistry as a second language, which has been recommended by several of you who've been tuning in. And I love the title. It just sounds like a great book in general. It's supposed to be pretty solid reading, foundational, fundamental stuff, which is what I want out of this course. And so I downloaded the book and I don't want to just abandon AI. I don't want to just stream going, reading a textbook. That's to me, slightly boring, slightly not innovative enough for what I'm trying to do this challenge. So what I did is I asked AI, what's the fastest way that you can help guide me through a textbook? And it gave me a lot of great ideas. Some of the things it does is it previews each section. So what I do is I ask it what I should know by the end of reading this and then have it go and make these questions come. And at the end of each section, what I'm actually doing is this Feynman technique thing where I explain it to them, I dictate to the AI, and then ask it for any gaps in my explanation. And finally, I'm having it using ChatGPT-03 craft me a story based off of each day's content that I'm going to review by listening to it before I go to bed each night. That's pretty nerdy and intense, but it is scientifically proven to help if you study right before going to sleep and putting it in a story, maybe I'll be dreaming or in, or, in uh, organic chemistry and some positive things will come out of it. So anyways, this is the new structure. I'll give you guys more insights. You can obviously tune into the live streams if you want to see it all happen. And uh, thank you guys for being here for this journey. Stay learning. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.